Hey there, it's a Latvian language teacher Ilze B here. Welcome to day four of the Latvian Verb Challenge of November 2018. And today I will talk about first person plural and I will show you examples from two lists, the list of verbs that belong to the second conjugation that you got in one of my previous lessons and from the list of verbs that belong to the third conjugation that you got after the yesterday's lesson. So, these verbs are jautāt and darīt. Jautāt means to ask and darīt means to do. Today I'll teach you the plural forms for the first person, but that's not all. I'll also teach you about the linguistic modes, two of them. And I think that you'll perceive it better if you see slides, so that the words are written on the screen. So now I'll switch the slides and continue my lesson there. I have switched to my slides here and let me start by reminding you what I mean by saying a verb form for the first person plural. I'll remind you the sentence that I taught you. Mēs meklējam atslēgu. And the verb here is meklējam, which means looking for. And this is the ending for the first person plural. And why we need that form is because we have the word mēs, which means we, and we is the first person and plural. And I'm also reminding you that this is the second conjugation verb and the simple present tense, which means in English, we are looking for the key. And the new word to discuss first would be the word jautāt. And jautāt means to ask. And this is also the second conjugation verb. Now let's compare the present forms for the first person plural. First you see the word jautājam, which means we are asking. And the second you see the word that you already know, meklējam, which means we are looking for or we look for. And again, I'm reminding that both of them are the second conjugation verbs. And I gave you a list of such verbs in one of the previous lessons. Once more, the infinitive form for this word jautājam is jautāt. And jautājam means we ask. But now I'll show you the simple past form and that is jautājām. Notice that the difference is only in the ending. In the simple present form it's am, um, but in the simple past form it's am um, with the long vowel a uh, and it means we asked. Now the simple future form and that is jautāsim. This is very different. So it means we'll ask and you see that two letters have changed. But you have to memorize it only once because other verbs will behave the same way. For instance, meklējam would change the same way in the simple past form. Look at this. Meklējam. Again, the changes in the ending. It's with the long vowel a. Uh, meklējam. And the future form would be meklēsim. But now I'll delete these old verbs, meklējam, meklējām and meklēsim. And I'll show you examples with the third conjugation verb. And this third conjugation verb would be also from the list that I gave you before. The verb that I'll discuss is darīt. Darīt means to do. And its simple present form for the first person plural will be darām. I'll read it once more. Darām. Now the simple past form and that would be darījām. And this is simpler. We have the same suffix u that we have for the second conjugation verb and the same ending that we have for the second conjugation verb. Jautājām. Jautājām. Darījām. Now the simple future form for the first person plural and that is 
darīsim. Again, we see that the pattern is the same as for the second conjugation verbs. The most difficult part is with the simple present forms. And that's why I said that the second conjugation verbs are the easiest to learn. But don't worry, because I have prepared a list of the verbs that I previously gave you, conjugated now in the first person plural. And like before, you can get it from my website, ilzb.com forward slash verbs under day four. I also told you that I would talk about the grammatical moods. So, when we have a full sentence with the subject, for instance, mēs, which means we, linked with these verbs. For instance, mēs jautājam, we ask, mēs jautājām, we asked, mēs jautāsim, we'll ask, or mēs darām, we do, mēs darījām, we did, and mēs darīsim, we'll do. This is called the indicative mood. But if we don't have the subject mēs in the simple future forms, then these words will be in the imperative mood. And I'll explain it what I mean by that. I'll remove the other forms now and focus only on these two words. Jautāsim and darīsim. Here. So, as I said, it's the imperative mood. And I started them with a the capital letter so that you know that these words can start a sentence. We don't need mēs. And in such a case, these words will mean let's ask and let's do. And we put an exclamation mark at the end of such sentences. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Atta.